This anniversary edition MGTF here is in dire need of a bit of detailing and TLC. It gets driven hard and put away wet. Well, no, it doesn't get driven hard, but it definitely gets put away wet anyway. So uh, let's see if we can spruce it up. It's a lovely car, but um, it just needs to be brought over the line there just to make it really pop, you know what I mean? And there's a few other little jobs I need to do on it as well. So uh, join me and we'll see what we can do. waiting on a nice bright sunny day in Ireland upon which to wash a car you're gonna end up with a dirty car so we just have to deal with what we have so uh, yeah it is raining but look at uh, and also as well the back window is uh, cracked so that's gonna need replacing we're gonna try and get to that at a later stage but for the moment anyway um, let's see what we can do with the bodywork and try and get this straightened out the first things I'm, the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be spraying it down with a solution of this Demon Foam Snow Foam Car Shampoo. I'm going to be letting that set, uh, uh, settle in. I'll spray the wheels as well down with some wheel cleaner, leave them set. And uh, then we'll uh, go out and do an initial wash and then uh, basically we're doing a two-part wash. You'll notice I'm not touching the uh, roof at all, and that's simply because of the fact that I have a different method for cleaning this. Um, there's no point of pressure washing it because the inside of the car will get absolutely saturated. So we're just gonna literally uh, deal with the uh, window line down and worry about the panels at this stage. And then we can kind of come back to that at a later stage. There's a hard top roof that goes with this car as well, if, which has been taken off for the purposes of this exercise, but it's in the garage. So uh, we will be refitting that at the end. The likelihood is, is I'm not gonna be getting the, um, the new window for us at this moment in time, but uh, that's all right. It's March and the likelihood of the owner driving around with the roof down at this point in time is a little bit slim, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to let that settle in and uh, just uh, do its thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some spray for the wheels and we're going to attack the wheels there now as well. And then we will start going around things like window rubbers with a brush. For the wheels, I'm using Auto Gleam Clean Wheels. Uh, there are stronger products available. This is actually one of the lighter ones. Uh, to be honest with you, I may well need to go for one of the stronger ones, but we'll see how we go with this first. Okay, so the the wheels are uh, soaking there now so let's uh, let's get at these uh, window rubbers because they're, they're pretty bloody grubby to be honest with you jesus they're very grubby <laughs> maybe i'll need to take the take the window rubbers off to give them a proper clean but we'll see how we go ah here There anyway, so. so we're going to go around the uh, go around all the little crevices and uh, kind of body lines and stuff like that with this brush. The the bristles are fairly uh, fairly soft on it, so it's not going to do any damage. But let's just see if this comes off easily because if it does, straight away I think it's not going to. not gonna come off easily right let me get a let me get something else to uh, take this off because uh, that's Jesus Christ <laughs> okay. we are actually making headway with this brush we'll see how it looks after I hit it with the pressure washer then see it doesn't have a garage to go into it's parked outside the whole time so and uh, there are trees and stuff like that so you know I mean these things are to be expected to a degree
Viewers on my channel might have uh, watched the video I did on um, the detailing on my mom's car, the uh, Mercedes SLK. Um, she was absolutely thrilled with that, by the way. But um, yeah, uh, basically, the difference between that car and this car is that this car is black and this will show up a multitude of sins, whereas silver actually hides quite a lot. Even though the paint was as rough as a bear's arse, this is, uh, to be honest, the paint and this is as rough as a bear's arse as well, but it, um, I think you'll see much more results from this now, to be honest with you, you know, and I'm, that's, I've known this car for quite a long time, so I have been really wanting to get stuck into it. Of course, don't tell the owner that because he'll want me to do bloody everything on it. In reality, I could spend the rest of my life cleaning these wheels and uh, it'll still, uh, they'll still look crap, to be honest with you. So they definitely need to be uh, restored. But anyway, look, that's, uh, that's all right. That's, uh, that's a whole other job. And uh, I'm not gonna go any further than I have done with the wheels uh, because it's just time wasted. They look good for, from about uh, 10, 20 foot. No, no, they don't, they still look shit. But uh, anyway, right, let's, uh, let's dry it off with a chamois and get it into the garage. All right, so that, now I'm just using uh, uh, some toweling, terry cloth, whatever you want to call it, to uh, give the car another dry now that we're indoors. Now, if you look at this wing here, I actually did a demonstration for the owner just to show him how good the paint can actually come up. And that was a fairly quick job, so I'm going to be going more in depth even than that. Um, it's... Uh, like that was literally just a job with the clay bar and some polish but straight away i mean it does definitely come up a hell of a lot better but what we're going to do is we're going to use a um uh we're going to use a paint restorer an uh, auto clean paint restorer on this car as well all right so we're going to start with the clay bar and i'm going to start in the front of the car and work my way back so what we do with the clay bar is you basically you make a piece about the size of a coin or a you know, small skimming stone or whatever it is, whatever size uh, comparison you want to use. And then what you do is, you spray down the surface you want to actually uh, uh, attack. And, you, you, and look at the crap that that's after picking up. That's after washing the card. So you can see now the benefits of using the clay bar straight away. Any surface imperfections like that are going to have an impact in how shiny the car is, basically. And just make sure you keep it, keep it wet. Now we're going to use the uh, paint renovator after this because it's uh, Swirl Mark City, Arizona here. I'd say that this car has been through the scratch and shine once or twice. So, but it's actually remarkable how much stuff this uh, clay bar is picking up. You may need to do it more than once, which is fine. Let's, uh, let's, let's polish off that side and have a look at the, uh, the difference between the two sides of the bonnet now. just even running the towel along it you can feel the difference but look at that
Very satisfying, I have to say. But there is an absolute night and day difference between the two sides of the car. Just even from having done that. So let's keep going. What do you reckon folks? Worth the effort? Comment down below and let me know what you think. It's important to remember by the way that if you ever drop your clay bar, replace it because you can pick up grit off the ground and the last thing you want to be doing is rubbing grit into the paint. And also once it starts to kind of get sort of uh, clogged up with dirt itself, change it then. Realistically, for a job like this, you want to be going through maybe three or four pieces. But what you do is you keep on cleaning it. So, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so the car has been fully clay barred there now. So um, I've gone all the way from the front to the back. And yes, it's definitely looking better, but the paint is still very flat looking, to be honest with you. So the next step is going to be to use the paint renovation sauce that I have there. So um, we'll, uh, we'll see how it comes up after that. I uh, anticipate uh, good results, to be honest with you. But um, already, I mean, it is. It's definitely looking a uh, 100 times better. It's, uh, you know, even just a clay bar job is quite transformative. But um, I did uh, also message the owner there just to, to say to him to so book it in and get the wheels done. Um, and uh, as I said, we're going to have to look at getting the headlights done as well. And something about that back window. But, uh, and that's before we even touch the hood as well. Okay, so this is the product I'm going to be using now. Auto Gleam Paint Renovator. So uh, I have used this before and I found it to be very effective. Uh, but it's not the type of thing you want to be using on a regular basis because it is a cutting compound. It has some uh, aluminium oxide in it. And it, it does say that if you read the instructions, and I do, I, I can't stress it enough, read the instructions on the back of the bottle as to what you're supposed to be doing if you're inexperienced in doing these kind of things. But uh, most importantly, give it a good shake before you do anything else. Because if there's aluminium oxide in it, it may have fallen out of suspension and it's all going to be down the bottom. So this is a waste of time until you get to the very end and then you cut the paint off the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it in an inconspicuous enough area. So we'll try it down here and we'll just see how the bumper comes up and um, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'm not going to dive straight in on the bonnet. Once I'm happy enough with that, then we'll go for the bonnet and we'll see how, uh, how it does. And what I'll do is I'll do, the, um, I'll do the kind of the split effect on it again and see... Uh, see what the difference really is then because as I said I anticipate good results here now. Uh, one of the things I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take off the bumper on this car at some point or another because the uh, the far headlight there is uh, is all fogged up and I want to take it out and try and find out uh, what's causing it and if we can fix it and uh, also um, you can see it's kind of uh, it got a bit of a bump in the car park there so we wanted to just try and get that reseated as well. Anyway we have a little bit of the stuff here on the cloth and we're going to just I tend to go start with a swirling motion and then go into straight lines then after that. Now, you can see that uh, there's a, a slight little bit of a black hue to it, so it's grey actually, but um, that's because it is literally cutting the paint. But that's what you want to happen. So let's just leave that to dry to a haze and we'll buff it off and we'll see how we're looking then because this is, a, this is the type of thing, you don't want to go too aggressive first off, you want to build up the pressure on it. So let's see now. Massive difference. And to be honest with you, you probably could go a little bit more on it. Like, um, we'll try a little bit more and see how, uh, see how kind of aggressive we really want to get on it. All 
right? Let's just leave that there like that now for a few minutes. And then we'll come back to it and we'll buff it off. And then once I'm happy enough, then we're going to start on the bonnet. All right, now let's buff this off and see how it looks. Yeah. That'll do nicely. Yeah. All right, okay, so we're going to do the bonnet now. Um, it's not perfect, but, you know, I mean, short of going for a machine polish, you're not going to get perfection. You're going to get it pretty good, but by the time you've got a coat of, uh, coat of polish on this afterwards now, it should look decent. So uh, let's, uh, let's just do half the bonnet and see how we're looking. <laughs> Okay, so this is the, uh, the polish we're going to use. It's a uh, super resin polish. And again, we're just going to do half the bonnet. And uh, you'll see now how, uh, how this comes up now at this stage. And this will give us kind of an idea as to what sort of finish we can expect on the rest of the car as well. Me. My little man helped me. Don't be uh, don't be afraid to use uh, use a bit of this stuff. Like you know, it's I know a little goes a long way, but you still don't want to skimp on it. And also, make sure you use a different cloth to the one you used for the uh, the paint renovator because. Really well, wait until you see it when I take it off. Watch, watch. now. So watch. We leave that to buff to a haze, or to dry to a haze, and then we buff it off. I think the results speak for themselves there, folks. You can see a clear line between the bit I didn't use the uh, paint renovator on and the bit that's now got the super resin uh, polish on. So uh, yeah, really happy with the results there. So I shall continue on and we're gonna do the rest of the car. Now, I won't be using the paint renovator everywhere on the car because it actually just doesn't need it and there's no point in using it when it doesn't need to be used. So yeah. Uh, but already you can see the difference in uh, the difference in this car. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a really really nice looking car now by the time I'm finished. And I do have a couple of tricks up my sleeve for a few other little bits and pieces on it too. Something of a learning experience for me here uh, using this uh, this uh, paint renovator stuff. So basically the way I've done it so far is I've, do I've done a coat on the whole bonnet now, okay? And it's feeling pretty good and looking pretty good, okay? But being that it's a black car, it's showing up every little detail. And to be honest with you, it's a, a much tougher job than, uh, than doing my mum's uh, Merc one. So it's taken a couple of applications. Now what I did here is 
I did the I did the bonnet. I sprayed it down. Uh, I buffed it off. Sprayed it down with rapid detailer, as you can see in the video there, and uh, wiped that off. And that left me with any of the kind of squirrel marks still left, which I could go back on. Now, the bonnet is the one thing that you really need to focus on because of the fact that it's the thing that's going to pick up most of the shine and uh, kind of set the car apart. Now, I'll do the, I'll do the front wings and everything as well. I'm going to do most of the car, to be honest with you, with the, uh, with the paint renovator. But that's why I'm, I'm spending the time on this and it is, it is yielding results. And I have to say, there's a beautiful metal flake in this, um, in this paint. It's a kind of an anthracite metallic black. Um, I don't know how much it shows up on the camera, but it's really nice, you know, and the, the more I polish, the deeper a shine it gets. Right, so that's it now before I actually put the uh, the final coat of polish on. Obviously I have to polish it again because I kind of covered over some of the areas there that were uh, that I had put the, the coat of polish on. I was literally just doing that just to kind of illustrate how it was going to look. But now that the whole bonnet is, uh, is kind of cutted back and everything like that, and uh, cut, it back, cut back, and uh, you can see even, um, yeah, I mean it's, it's, it's already there's a great uh, shine to it there. So we just need to get the polish onto that, but I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do the rest of the car and uh, spend a bit of time on that. And then when I have that done, I'll bring it back and then we can, uh, we can get into actually polishing it, getting the, the real details out. All right, so I've got the uh, polishing all done. The only thing to do now is to actually give it the coat of the, the uh, super resin polish. So that's the last step really in this process. So uh, yeah, really, lo uh, really looking forward to seeing how it looks after that because it's really looking great now, I have to say. I'll be honest, there's a very real risk of me not wanting to give this car back to the owner. <laughs> it's, it, I am really starting to like it, I'll be honest. So um, yeah, uh, right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, get the, we'll get the super resin polish on now and uh, I'll bring you back when it's finished. All right, so as you can see now, we've got the, uh, the coat of polish on it. So literally, it's just a case now of buffing it off and seeing how it looks. And I, what I'll do is we'll call it at that then at this stage of the game, and we will pick it up again in a future video where we can actually get into a few of the other little nuts and bolts and uh, niceties and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I mean, look, we have to tackle those headlights apart from anything else. That's one big thing to do. And uh, you will have seen that I've, I've already uploaded a video about uh, fixing a leak into the boot. And um, yeah, then obviously there's the hood as well, which I'm going to treat as a separate entity because to be honest with you, that in itself is going to take some doing to get right. And then we can, uh, we can kind of move on from there. Um, the owner assures, I'll try that again. The owner assures me that there is no mechanical problems with it whatsoever, but I... We'll take that with a pinch of salt because I'm going to investigate it. Straight away to me it seems like the clutch pedal is very stiff so I wonder if the pickup fork is uh, stuck on it or something like that or maybe they're just like that. I don't know but anyway I'll have a look and see what the crack is there. So uh, anyway right let's, uh, let's buff the paint off and uh, I'll stop waffling. Well folks, one thing is for sure, that looks brilliant and it is an incredibly satisfying job to have gotten done. So uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things still that need to be done on this car, but it's uh, much, much further down the line now and uh, just getting that paint straightened out, it's, it's a big deal. So um, yeah, I'll just uh, take you around and show you how it looks. Gone is the flat, lifeless paint with all the swirl marks in it. And uh, 
I even um, sorted out the fuel filler. The hilarious thing about the fuel filler is that has, that was actually painted metal. So uh, I stripped back the metal and lacquered it. Oh, I also have the side repeaters, uh, the lenses for the side repeaters to fit as well. So uh, I'll be doing that now in the next little while. But uh, you'll see that in the next video about this car. So when I'm taking care of the headlights, you will also see the side repeater lenses back on. Yeah, there's some half eejit in behind me here uh, pretending to hold a sound. microphone boom. <laughs> it is, yeah, sound. <laughs> Maybe the better boom, well. It's the mega boom. Ah, yeah. It's <laughs> the so one thing about having a YouTube channel is you get people just hanging around your garage randomly. Now, this person in question is my brother. <laughs> okay, so let's call it there, that one, folks. And uh, as I said, there's going to be more to be done. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy here at this point in time. So look, thanks very much for joining me. Please do uh, hit the subscribe button before you go. And I'll keep you updated on the progress of this car and other cars. And if you have, if you have any thoughts or ideas or anything like that, please do uh, write them in the comments below. And I will chat to you soon.